Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And if for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. We've got another episode where we're playing VGC Series 8 content. As always, playing another rental team today. And we've got Dash, one of our viewers. Thank you so much for submitting this rental team. And it's going to be all about the Torn Ogre in this one. But we've got a little twist on it because we do have the Tapu Lele in there. And it's something that I like to see a lot. I think it's a bit of an underplayed Pokemon in this format. It definitely does have a hard time with that Fairy type in it moment and the psychic typing with all the steel ghost dark types that are floating around but it does have a niche in the format for sure and with the choice specs if you can get it into the position that you want under the tailwind next to the Kyogre you can just blow opponents away with the sheer power that you're able to output with you know the psychic the uh, dazzling gleams the moon blast and uh, focus blast is quite a nice little niche option there to have if you're in a really tight spot so this is a team that we're going to be featuring today hopefully you enjoy it here is the rental code as always we'll have a couple of games with the team and then i'll throw the rental code up at the end of the episode just to remind you if you'd like to give this team a go yourself so got the assault vest cartana life orb reggie alecki which we don't see too much anymore you know magnet and something like focus sash probably more preferable options there but you're getting that little bit more power with reggie alecki and so with the thunder as well taking advantage of the rain safety goggles incineroar is a very interesting choice and I, one i really do like it's a bit more of an offensive incineroar on the team and then you've got really good speed control with the tornado is between the icy wind and that tailwind there and uh, protecting all the while the Cortana, which is probably going to be more of a late game Pokemon in most situations with the Assault Vest and the Rain Up. So, like I say, we'll jump in now and we'll have a couple of games with the team. Hopefully you enjoy it and let's get into our first match of today. So we have our first opponent of the day. They're running a Politoed, Kingdra, Zassi and Thunderous, Mineshaw and Volcarona team. So, uh, interesting team. It is a Rain team with the Zassian opting for, you know, trying to go down the line of the Kyogre Zassian teams that we've seen do well in the kind of GS Cup sort of formats. Um, but Politoed doing a really nice job of supporting that Kingdra, making it very threatening early on with that uh, instant uh, Swift Swim kind of support there. Zassian also benefiting from that, but we're going to rely heavily on our Tailwind here. They do have the Mind Shout, which can provide fake out support and give us a lot, of, a big headache early on. But the, the thing is, we do have Tapu Lele as well to kind of. Um, help us out in that respect where we can get a tailwind up we can you know disrupt or at least pressure something like the mine shell if we do see it come out got to be careful though because obviously um i think it might be better because i could see my opponent go on thunderous mine shell as a lead here maybe they go something like Politoed kingdra but i don't see that being most optimal i think if we go tapu lele kyogre in the back i think we get a tailwind up get Reggie Alecki out. We're going very fast and offensive, but my opponent, I think we can afford to. There isn't really a trick room mod on my opponent's team that we need to be worried about too much. So I think getting Kyogre into that kind of optimal position where it is, you know, under the tailwind next to the Tapu Lele. And like I say, hopefully we can just blow through things after that. So let's see what we can do. Right, my opponent leading out with the Kingdra and Thunderous, which is interesting. I wonder if that's, uh, is it gonna be Prankster Thunderous with Rain Dance, potentially? I don't know. Well, we're gonna get that Tailwind up regardless here. Um, huh. Kind of tempted to max as well, you know, with Reggie Alecki. But is it gonna be better going for an Electro Web just to get some damage onto things? Or we could go for a Thunder, it's a little bit iffy. I don't really want to Volt Switch because we don't want to Volt Switch out onto something and then take a bunch of damage. Uh, I think we just Electro Web just to get like reinforce our speed control. Because if we see a max airstream from something on my opponent's side of the field, then it just kind of, you know, makes it a little bit better for us to uh, keep control of the field in, uh, in, respect to, um, in respect to what we're doing. I'm super sorry as well. If I feel a bit distracted, I'm not trying to be. Um, I've been after a Hidden Fates elite trainer box for the longest time and I just had a ping up from a friend saying that total cards have the elite trainer boxes in stock and I'm trying to add one to my basket but it keeps timing out so it's not ideal let's see if it's going to work because if it works on on, on on as I'm recording this will uh, I'll be I'll be so happy I'll be so happy if we can do that please log in to buy this product that's not ideal so what's going on we see the kingdra max 
we get the Eerie Impulse, which is not good, so we need to get rid of this Thunderous as soon as possible. But if we can get Tapu Lele on the field, you know, that's ideal because the Prankster Eerie Impulse uh, makes it so much easier for us to deal with uh, because they can't they can't Eerie Impulse. Oh, we want something to go down here. We need something to go down. Um, can I log in? Can I log in? Let's see. Can I log in? My account. Let's go. See if we can log in. Sign in. Right. Let's go. Okay. This is super bad. I mean, we can just double Icy Wind and Electro Web again. I'm kind of not worried if I lose both at this point, to be honest. Yeah, the Eerie Impulse coming out. It's not the worst, because I mean. We're just slowing everything down and making sure even when our tailwind goes, then we've still got an advantage. Uh, the problem is, like, we probably want to try and keep Tornadus if we can. Might be worth Max and Lele in this match. I don't know, though. I don't think so. Get another Electro Web off. Not doing very much damage, but we're still doing enough, you know. I think the, uh, the, the, the Kingdra's probably in range now to go down. Where's the geyser coming? Okay, I'm going to activate that Swift Swim ability. Okay, getting rid of Eleki, that's fine. Now we bring in Lele, and then we can nuke the Kingdra. Might be worth even maxing it, to be honest, you know? What do we get Kyogre in? Mm. No, I think we get Lele in. We go Moonblast into Kingdra. This is the message that I keep getting. This is the message, and it's not good. Okay, I think we're in. I think we're in. Can we add it? No. We're getting that message once again. Okay, well, we get Lele onto the field. I'm so sorry, friends. This is just really, like, it's such a hard, hard, um... I, get, uh, I don't really want to switch out the Tornadus at this point, but I do feel like we're going to need the Tornadus in the late game, you know? I don't think my opponent's going to attack. Uh, I think they could Thunderbolt the Tornadus, which would be bad, which would be really bad for us. Do we max... I don't really want to... No. We're, we're specs. We're definitely getting the Kingdra here. The worst case scenario is a Thunderbolt here from that t Thunderous, which is very likely, but I feel like I need the Tailwind for the Zacian in the late game. That's what we need. Okay, it switches out. That's perfect. That is ideal for us. It's ideal. Now, the Kingdra should get taken down. Zacian going to come onto the field. That's ideal. We can max the Kyogre the next turn. Just nuke the Zacian in our last turn of Tailwind perfect yep get that so that's good okay so we're in a good spot now We've still got a tailwind in the back so when it does end thunderous is a little bit useless now because we can just nuke it with the tapulele it's prankster attacks aren't gonna be very useful mind shout can wide guard but we're going to get around that with a Max Geyser into the Zacian. And we're going to go for a Moonblast into the Mind Shao. We're still going to outspeed everything. They cannot fake us out here. I think we got this locked, to be honest, because the Zacian goes down if it doesn't protect. Even if it does, we still got Tailwind in the back to come in. Kind of help us out if we're in a bit of a spot. So, let's see. Can we do this? Can we do it? Can we do it? Come on. We can, I think. Let's see. Is it added to basket? It might have been added to basket. Yes, it is in my basket. There we go. Okay, we can check out. Brilliant. Here we go. This might be a really good turn where we can do all the things we want in one. Okay, Zassian gone. Mineshare should be gone. Critical hit. I don't think it really matters. I think we would take it down regardless. The Moonblast, more than enough. And then Thunderous to come back in. Can't really do too much, especially the Prankster variant. I think a Defiant variant would be a little bit more tricky uh, for us to deal with. But thankfully it's not. And even if it was Defiant... Oh wow, it's got the Sash. So doing a bit of damage there. So, here we go. Order... Yep, we'll take the orders. Do this. I don't really... 
I think there'll be a few of you TCG fans out there. You'll you'll appreciate. Has that tailwind just ended as well? I think it has. Yeah. So we are slow. We're gonna take we're gonna take some attacks. But I feel I feel like we're gonna be able to kind of just be able to close this one up regardless now. Anyway, so we're fine. And there we go. We get the win. So very good first game for us. We kind of dominate there. Like I said in team preview, if we get that board position with the tailwind up with Lele Kyogre on the field, there's very little your opponent can do to kind of overcome that. And there are techs and things to try and get around it. But there's so many options with that Dynamax ability that just allow you to kind of close that up, make it very difficult. So a very first good first game for us and we'll jump into our second one of the episode okay up next today we've got a team of Tokol, charizard xerneas indeedy lander Ethereum, and venusaur so a really heavy sun team with kind of xerneas pegged in there with the indeedy support and lander Ethereum support the tailwind uh there's no speed control support other than max airstream i should say or the geomancy that the xerneas can set up redirection of course it's going to make things difficult bringing kyogre as well as making things difficult because uh, the one thing that we're going to want to try and take advantage of is the rain here and we need to try and win the weather war and, and winning it early on is not going to be an option especially if we see the talk or lead from my opponent now uh i hmm, do we lead incineroar tornadoes because that gives us a nice few options the only issue then would be if we see indeed xerneas lead from my opponent which would make things very difficult for us because then we don't have a way to kind of get around the uh the redirection and Xerneas just setting up kind of free whereas if we lead Regieleki Tornadoes we can get our tailwind up and we can go for an electro web it's kind of sets up the, the kind of the end game for us and I think Kyogre is always going to be a good Pokemon to have to bring in and I think maybe Tapu Lele as well because they're going to have Psychic Terrain Tapu Lele in a tailwind in the Psychic Terrain going to be good Cartana could be useful here uh, just specifically for that Xerneas, but I don't think it's the, the, the way to go, to be honest. I think... I think what we've chosen is probably going to be the best, the best route to go down. So we'll see if we can, uh, we can do this. Let's, uh, hopefully be able to, uh, pick up another win for us today. Still trying to basket this product, but it doesn't look like it's going to go through. Now I'm getting an issue with where it's in. One per customer, and uh, I have uh, i haven't even ordered one. So, total cards. Your site is uh, not fit for purpose, but that's regardless. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, Charizard and Tokol coming out from my opponent. Well, we can Tailwind Electro Web here. Um, even if we lose Regieleki, I don't really mind too much because it means then Kyogre can kind of come in and really disrupts the kind of play that my opponent's trying to go for. Um, we'll probably see Eruption. We'll probably see uh, Charizard go for Max Airstream, I'd imagine. Um, it's my opponent's only kind of form of speed control on their team. Like I say, outside of... Uh, okay, Torkoal going out which is good we you know you want to see that go out you want to see the indeedy come in don't mind that too much um what's this charizard going to do just protect is it just going to protect i don't know maybe not maybe max maybe max who knows let's see yeah it's gonna max let's see where we go and it'll go for the wildfire i'd imagine now we could have switched in kyogre here but again <clears throat> The problem is there, like, with the Torko being in the back, I'd kind of prefer to bring Kyogre in on the Torko, and knowing that they may switch out anyway, it's kind of fine. So, they're going to go after the Regieleki, I would imagine. Okay, well, they got the, uh, the Berry that reduces damage, which is fine. Uh, we get the speed drop on both things, which makes dealing with them a little bit easier, especially if our tailwind ends and we're in a, a bit of a, a tight spot. Life Orb's still doing really respectful damage, though, so that's good. Um, Regieleki going down, unfortunately. So that is uh, a bit unfortunate, but not the worst, because it does mean it opens the door for us to get Kyogre in and we can launch off a big fat water spout or we can go for a max geyser which is also a nice option because then the thing is switching Torkoal in in this in this situation is yeah, I think they have to switch Torkoal 
I think they have to bring Torkoal in for Indeedy here. Now, if we go Max Geyser into the DD slot. I mean, we could go after the Charizard. We're not going to get it, though. That's the problem. I think we protect Tornadus here. Because it's going to be useful to kind of preserve Tornadus in this match. Although, our rain will be up. It's just an airstream would be would be bad. Um, yeah, let's go after DD. They have just had the special defense boost, but yeah, we're going to see the Torkoal come in. Now, we should be able to get the Torkoal, I think, you know? I'd imagine we'll be able to get the Torkoal in the sun with a Max Geyser. Then it gets our rain back up, it weakens the Charizard, puts us in a good spot for the next turn as well. You know, this is the one beauty about Dynamax, you know, it's a little bit like Mega Evolutions where you, you maybe had like a drought ability on Charizard or something like that. And um, then you could kind of go from there. This is really frustrating. It's total cards. I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to approach it after we finish this match. We're going to concentrate on it after. I just I want kind of tornadoes around for... The late game almost when we might need Tailwind again. You've got to kind of keep that in mind most of the time. Let's see, can we get the talk all? That's perfect. So we get rid of the sun completely. We've won the weather war, which is ideal. We're going to be taking a bit of chip damage every turn from the Charizard, of course, uh, the, the wildfire recoil, but it's not too much of a concern as long as we can kind of keep our... Ooh, Max Quake. That's interesting. No solar power boost there, but Kyogre are going to be able to take that pretty well. And I think with the rain up, the 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 boost there to the um, special defense is not really going to help the Charizard out too much, you know. Uh, the wildfire flames do burn a little bit, but we'll see what my opponent can do. Let's see what's going to come in. Uh, okay, it's going to be Didi again. Going to give that Charizard a little bit of room, of course. Um... I think we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Lele. And I'm going to go for Max Geyser into the Zard. But I think they have to redirect here with the the, the, the Lele, which should take the Lele down. No problem at all. Um, oh, they're Max Garden. What are they doing with Lele then? Going for Expanding Force? Oh, they're protecting again. Now, the Zard is going to go back down to its normal... Uh, Charizard form and then we're going to be able to uh, well they have to I mean they have to redirect this next turn but I think a psychic is going to be enough to probably get the Charizard like with specs in Tailwind um, the problem is who's faster and I would imagine Tapu Lele will be the faster Pokemon than um, than Kyogre here. So, 47, 56, no. No. Ruben is... Sorry, Dash has trained his team perfectly. So the Psychic should go into the Charizard, get that. We can go Max Geyser again. Uh, just double up into that slot. Because if the Psychic gets it, then that's great. If not, then we at least get rid of the Charizard here. Oh, no, it's the other way around. What am I talking about? I looked at that wrong. I don't know what, what's wrong with my brain today. We should have clicked in the Moonblast. Oh, okay, never mind. We get rid of the Zard. That's fine. We're still all right. We still got a Tailwind in the back. We're locked into Psychic. We're going to get a boost. It's not going to be doing as much as uh, a Moonblast, but it might be useful in the late game, at least. We'll see. We do take an Expanding Force for our Troubles, and that's the last turn of the, the, the Max Wildfire. So that's all right and then my opponent got one more pokemon to come in and uh we should be able to kind of close this one out with what we've got left at least so we'll see what we can do i can't believe i just i can't believe i looked at those and i was like oh yes so mm, yeah uh okay well we're gonna have water spout to take advantage of origin pulse to take advantage of uh we've got the psychic as well which is useful problem is uh are we still in a tailwind no we're not Tailwind is finished, so that is not ideal. Uh, we're going to have to double an Origin Pulse. This is going to be tricky because I think Tornadus now, it would have been ideal to have it out on the field. We're going to see redirection for sure. Um, 
is the Xerneas going to just attack the late game Xerneas? Always the way to play it in this format as well. It's dangerous, you know. Helping hand Dazzling Gleam, I think. Or helping hand Moonblast, I reckon. Yeah. Can we take it? Both. Oh, Kyogre takes it. Kyogre takes it. This is big if we can hit this Origin Pulse. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Come on. Oh, it hits the right one. Okay, 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 okay. Because now we get Tornadus in. We we are relying on hitting an Origin Pulse. But the the fact of the matter is that we can get around the Redirection and the Helping Hand. And Kyogre being an absolute beast is going to be able to uh, get the jump. And all we need, all we need is an Origin Pulse hit. All we need is an Origin Pulse hit. So... If we just hit that Ndidi there, it would have made things so much easier for us, you know, now we don't have the, 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 the to worry. Hit Origin Pulse sometimes, it is one of the worst moves, but sometimes it's one of the best moves, you know. It's uh, that low accuracy really can come to bite you in some situations. But I believe in Kyogre here, I believe that Kyogre is going to be hitting this one, and we should be able to lock the game up, so... Let's see what my opponent does. And this is why it was important to keep the Tornadoes for the late game, because... You know, in these situations where, like, otherwise, if we didn't have the, the Tailwind here, we just lose. We just lose. So it's kind of like having that foresight earlier on in the game to, like, look at what your opponent potentially could have left and then be able to kind of say, well, we need the Tailwind for later. We need a spiel control for later on. It's going to be so imperative for us. So let's, let's make sure we kind of try and create that board position. Origin Pulse comes out. Origin Pulse hits. We're going to be able to take the game very close sweating a little bit but it all works out in the end which is ideal for us very good game to my opponent and uh two nice games with the team today and dash thank you so much again for providing the rental code for not only myself to play but for uh, uh for everyone else as well to uh to see the team in action because it's a really nice option i think the tapu lele opens a different dimension for the kyoga build and it's that's why i really wanted to feature it as well because i think it's it's a little it's kind of the same as what your solid kyoga builds are like but it's got that variation that really gives it a little bit of a different edge when you need it and the tapu lele has performed brilliantly today you know brought brought in both games done amazingly well in both games which is really great to see the only thing i would maybe suggest on the tapu lele would be expanding force now there are arguments for and against that of course if you haven't always got your train up then you know psychic's always going to be the better option psy shock's another option as well that could be good you see against something like Torkoal, it's not going to be doing as much, but then again, expanding force. If you've got the, the the psychic terrain up and you've got the specs on it, and it's going to be hitting so hard, you know, it feels like you would be better taking advantage of that. But regardless, the team is great. So thank you again for providing the rental, and we'll jump over now and get you guys refreshed with the rental code if you want to try this out yourselves okay friends here is the rental for today's team this is again from dash one of our viewers so thank you so much for uh, submitting this and allowing us to play and feature it on the channel it's been a massive massive pleasure doing it and i've really enjoyed it there's some really nice options throughout that we've already talked about um we didn't get to see too much of the incineral but most other things we've we've had a little look at today and seen how powerful and good the team can be in the environment when set up with with the right support so if you do try it out i hope you have a lot of fun playing it and do leave your comments down below and let me know how you've been getting on with it and what your thoughts are on the tapu lele in particular because it is the odd one out of this team that you would generally not see played alongside these other pokemon um but yeah i think it's great and i've had a lot of fun with it today so i hope you've enjoyed today's episode friends thank you so much for tuning in as always and i'll see you all again for another episode very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye